the citizens were doubting whether she was still pure. And in those days, the wife of the king had to be pure. Uh, there's even a saying, Caesar's wife must be above suspicion. But uh, when Rama one time went uh, incognito to listen, he went around listening and, uh, to people's conversations. And uh, the people were talking about, oh, that Sita, you know, she was with this demon for years. How could she still be pure, you know? It's not possible. So they arranged a trial by fire where she had to go through the sacred fire. No, of course not. <laughs> but still, the, the fact is, you see, Rama, Lord Rama, his, his um, values were that the, the kshatriyas, the kings, the leaders, should be the servants of the people. Now it's the other way around. But in those days, the kings considered them servants of the people, considered themselves servants of the people. So uh, to protect the people, they had to show a, a perfect example, the highest example, the highest moral and spiritual qualities. And uh, so if there was any doubt, then they had to prove. See, how can, how can any leader um, expect people to follow unless they show the highest qualities? You see, this business of power, this is the wrong idea. It's, it's based on fear. If you don't follow, we'll punish you. See, but a real leader is so inspirational that people want to follow. They're so attractive that people want to be in a relationship with them. That this, this style of leadership is Vedic. The power of business is just totally materialistic. And it's bogus. It doesn't work. It creates an atmosphere of mutual distrust. Uh, I don't trust you because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have soldiers here and make, make sure you do what you're supposed to do. And you don't trust me because you know that I'm spinning the truth. Uh, so it's mutual distrust. That's Kali Yuga. Yeah, we can see that also in the uh, in the religions, where the priests they uh, all their um, argument is based on fear. You you're gonna go to hell if you don't believe, mm -hmm. and so forth. But uh, in the Vedas, we can see that uh, one um, condition of spiritual life is actually fearfulness. You're not fearlessness. Uh, fearlessness. I'm sorry, fearlessness, and uh, yeah, th that's completely opposite. Like you're not fear of anything because uh, you surrender into Krishna and he takes care of you as like, uh, it becomes obvious but uh, yeah just a comment Babaji, in the same connection uh, we read that after the fire sacrifice after some days she was again banished to the forest they're talking about Sita. Um, I forget why exactly oh, that happened. You would have to review the was, past. Yeah, yeah. It's not something that I've studied a lot. It was something like they st even after the fire, trial by fire, they still didn't believe that she was pure or something like that. I see. Okay. Oh, another comment in the, the four regulative principles correspond to the four qualities that have been diminished in Kali Yuga. And uh, as, I, as I recall, one of them was truthfulness, truthfulness. which is related to the gambling. Gambling and right. speculation. I see. Yeah. So in a sense, it's already included. In, in a sense, yes, but indirectly. We want to make it direct. So that it's like obvious. Very, very obvious. Yes. Mm -hmm. Emphasized. What? I want to. I want people to feel comfortable in our community. I want to feel. Want them to feel safe. I want them to feel that they can be open and honest themselves. They don't have to worry about being exploited by rascals. 
And heck, I personally want to feel comfortable. <laughs> you know, that if I yeah. if I initiate somebody, for example, that they're going to be a good disciple. They're going to follow the the principles. They're going to follow the the practices of discipleship and so on. Babaji, I've seen a, a particular case which is kind of in the middle, and I don't know what should be the best way to approach it, in which a devotee, uh, when starting, uh, or in general, there are some people who have very poor <coughs> education, in which, for example, their writing skills are really bad, and uh, they have very bad grammar or language skills and like that. So uh, it's very hard to determine if they're truthful or not because of this problem. So should we consider someone who is not able to exp express what they feel or what they want as a person who's cheating is not truthful? Well, it, it's really hard to evaluate. Yeah. You see, you know, it's again this idea of triage that we can only help certain people. We can't help everybody. Uh, I mean, if we had huge resources or something like that, maybe we could make some arrangement so that we could help a broader range of people. But the reality is, uh, we have to concentrate our limited time and resources on the people who are going to benefit the most. So if someone can't communicate effectively, how are we going to know if they're being truthful or, or not? Why are they, why is their grammar so bad? You know, or did they just flunk out of school or are they, are they intoxicated or you know, we don't know because we're, we're doing, uh, communicating over the internet. Mm. So, you know, that's the very marginal case. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's very tricky. Yeah. I think, you know, the reality is it's, unless they're willing to really buckle down and study and learn how to communicate, clear up their misunderstood terms and stuff, uh, then it's going to be very hard for us to work with them. Yeah. Yes, I've noticed this in the in most starting university students. It's very, very prominent. And it's hard to determine if it's cheating or not. Or It's like... I... Well, that's why we, we put the intro course and then the effective study course. Yeah. as Those have to be first. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, if we see... Uh, from the input on the intro course that a person has problem areas, we can help them focus on those problem areas. And everybody has problems in study. Yeah. I don't know anyone who, who doesn't, you know, so uh, because of the educational system is so bad. So everybody needs that refresher on how to study. Then we can talk about doing the other courses, and they'll actually learn something, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But you know, there's been several students that had, um, you know, like really serious problems in the beginning of the intro course. But by the time they got through the study course, they kind of like, you know, woke up and were like, oh, wait a minute, I really have to work on this stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, we see, we'll see more and more of the effectiveness of those courses. Yes. Yeah, we have been very clear on the on the university students who are making that every week they make some progress that's mm -hmm. steady. So, so in such a way there is no cheating, you know, that there is I made this progress and then a next step and a next step. We should put every weekly conference, we should put clear goals for the next week. Mm -hmm. Once those goals are established, then we should actually keep track of whether they, you know, uh, consistently achieve them. And if not, then there's a problem, all right, because we made an agreement. If yes. they don't keep their side of the agreement, then they're not being truthful with us. We're keeping our side of the agreement, see. For example, with the, you know, the initiates who fell down, 
we're keeping our side of the agreement. We haven't fallen down. We haven't stopped our service. We haven't closed the site or anything like that. We haven't run off with the money. <laughs> you know, we're continuing to provide the service. And um, if they're not going to maintain their side of the agreement, why would why should we continue to allow them access to our network? See. I have a problem with that. If someone, if someone makes a big promise and then they don't keep it, uh, I, have, I have a big problem with that person. So uh, why should I allow them to have access to our network, our students, our material, our courses? Uh, you know, it, it, to me, it's like this person has resigned from spiritual life. So. Uh, you know, we really don't want to associate with them. <laughs>